inspired me to just keep my dreams alive. I know he speaks about his dream all the time, and that's one thing we all need to realize, is keep our dream alive. People tend to find what's different about other people from them, and I guess that's what he means from them, that he'd rather find the simplest path and find similarities and love those similarities. We should not look at a person from their color. We should look at everyone's heart. Everybody has the same heart and everybody's, you know, humans. It's about embracing differences and about recognizing our differences, but ig ignoring them. They're just colors. You don't need all one color, you just, you need everybody. You need everybody to make the world go around. It shows that everybody's welcome to the earth and immigrants are a big thing. And I like this poster, it's a good poster. You're the same on the inside, but different on the outside. Those banners tell you a story. It's the story of what we need to be as a community of Patchogue. So putting the banners there in a place that's probably 250 yards from where Marcelo Serra was killed, on the grounds of a school that has the diversity to tell a story of how communities can come together. You just always think, this won't happen where I live. Where did we as a community, as an organization, as an educational system go wrong? There's a lot of finger pointing, but it's a, a collaborative effort to raise a child. What do you notice about the hand, Max? Why did you pick this as your favorite? I think this picture um, means that anyone can love anyone. It also means you should look past color and love someone for who they are and not what their race is. Two Keep different people coming together to make peace. Two different, it's like, and they're probably from two different countries. And it says there's only one human race. And that's all of us, even though. Yeah, even people who aren't from this country can be in our human race, because it's one. Human. Growing up in Suffolk County, one of my first memories is the fact that I wanted to hide my minority status. Many of our students think that nobody's ever been through it. They hide the fact that mom and dad don't speak English. They're embarrassed by these things. We try and create an environment that allows these students to begin to recognize who they are and accept first themselves. I stand up and I say, kids, you see this banner with so many hearts, that's what you want. Each one of you, you form a so big heart in the end in peace. And I want to you guys want to be the future of peace, the unity, the tolerance for all different kinds, the races. When he spoke, I felt sad because he said that his heart was still moving and it didn't break when his brother died when he spoke right over here. He accepted them for what they did and forgave them. He took the tragic incident that happened to him and has made it into um, a life lesson for, for all of us, um, a lesson that we can't teach in the classroom. Unless they are willing to talk to each other in an open and honest way. I think, I think the, uh, the uh, white person said something to um, make uh, the other person uh, uh, like aggravated, and now they're not willing to resolve their differences. Stupid things like that, just like, just like mess words. the whole world up. Yeah, kind of. I, it's so surprising how much words can affect you. How about the little picture in the left-hand corner? People joining together. People joining to embrace the differences. Yeah. To embrace the differences. <laughs> like, if someone's lonely, like Find sitting by themselves them. at a table, you should go Find sit with them. Yeah. That's like, bad. especially if it's like because they're different, everybody doesn't want to be friends with them, you should still be friends with them. Now we need to find a way to embed 
social justice, social issues within the curriculum, they might not be hearing these things at home. So they need to come to school and hear them, at least be exposed to it. If we're the next generation of Patchogue, we really want to change Patchogue. Even though Patchogue is a really nice town, we don't want kids going around just killing people for what they think people look like. Now everybody thinks that we're such a bad town. We have to change that. We have to tell everybody that we're not bad. We're, we have to tell everybody that we're good. We should make a poster and show people that who we are and we can make a change in the world. Think of some of the ways that you can interpret those posters and create your own words. Today, that's what we want you to do as a group. What kind of statement do you want to make about embracing diversity? It means trying to get new friends and we draw a gate opening. We're letting people in. We're inviting different people from different races. What's behind that gate? Peace of the world. Peace of the world, very good. Change comes in little pieces. We as people are defined by our ancestry, but we're also defined by the people that we circle ourselves with, whether they're friends, neighbors, whether they're in the schools. This little thing that we did, I think will strike these kids because we will do it again and we'll do it again as the years go forward.